Hey, welcome back to the Choice Podcast. And of course, you're here with, I'm going to say it, Ralph and Vicky, not mom and dad. Right. Well, right. mom and dad okay. too. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 And Aubrey and myself, RJ. And as you guys remember, uh, last month and the month prior, we kind of talked a lot about getting ready for the fall, getting ready for early season, late season, mid season, all of the above. And I mean, it's here. It it's is August. Here. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's for us, it's still well, July, it's, it's but August. it's going to be August when it's it comes August. out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You're running around. Yes, Crazy. but we did talk about a lot of stuff last time on the podcast about our plans, about what all's coming our way. Right. And a lot more happened than we expected to happen. Oh boy. Yeah. No, we've had since our last since last month's podcast, we've had quite a few different things. We had talked about we yes. going to South Af- Saskatchewan. Yes. We were going to go South Africa, and then all of a sudden something else happened too. Yes. <laughs> Called <laughs> um, engagement. Engagement. Da da da. <laughs> On a mountainside. On a mountainside. Awesome. Yeah. That, yeah, it was a little bit sketchy, but <laughs> a little were you, sketchy. It was, it was worth it though. I think. Well, you know, getting lost off the trail and then um, going following a sheep trail going across. Going a sheep trail than, across oh. instead of the main trail to get to the peak of the summit mm-hmm. at thirteen thousand what eight hundred feet or something yeah. like something that. Crazy. We only got to about twelve two. Yeah. As we were side hilling and watching bighorn sheep run below run. us. Mm-hmm. So and above. And, and, above. and above. And above us. They come right yeah. over that point and I was yeah. like twenty yards from going yeah. oh, Wish yeah. I had a tag. But yeah. the whole goal of the entire day was to get to the summit so you could propose. <laughs> we never made it to the summit. So well, we But, but we made it's it past okay. tree line. Yeah, we did. We, oh, did. we, we, we were above way above tree line. Way above. And and I mean We were closer to the first summit. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah the, the fake yeah, summit. The yeah, the false yeah. summit. Yeah. I don't know. It, it, but no, I think we, we were below there. We were there. Give it to I don't think I, I, I have it on. I have it on my map. I, I <laughs> dropped a pin. I seriously, I put. We made it to here, and yeah. I put it on, on my home. So our next map, time we go above so, it. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Next time we'll actually go to the summit. Well, yeah, yeah, we'll go. But it doesn't right. matter because yes. we did everything. It was mission success. And there's a reason and a purpose for all of it. And she had Aubrey had no idea. and Now she's gonna be our daughter-in-law soon. She cried. We all cried. We all cried. We were all sweaty, hot, crying. I was stuttering, panicking, shaking. Yes. It was awesome. My legs were shaking, everything. You know, and I think I got to bring this. I when I really listened hard. I heard you say lovey. Oh, love. L- love. love. Oh, you said love I or said love? Love. I said oh, love. Okay. I always call you love. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. And then she said. It just scared me. It was, you know, that's, <laughs> I don't know if that's as masculine as your dad <laughs> wants it to be. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm no, just, just, I just want to throw out. No, no, my favorite part was, well, there's two things. That one that no one's actually seen is, is this why I should have gotten my nails done? <laughs> yeah. But the other one was, did you really just do this? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. It was I awesome. just couldn't even couldn't even fathom it. So, so now we got lots of planning to do. There was so not a knows? dry eye on no, the mountain. No, when we come where where you proposed, there were actually hikers coming up. Yeah. And they all joined in. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. it was just it was amazing. We had the Johnsons there with us. Yeah. 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 Everybody everybody was teary eyed. Oh and smiling. So so, happy. Yeah. It's it's again. We're on the middle of a mountain. We don't know anybody that we're, this was hiking up. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it just shows how strong that the outdoor lifestyle, living it. Yes. And they're all wishing you guys congrats mm-hmm. and everything. You know what I mean? It was oh, just, absolutely. I, it, was, it was awesome. It was. It was, it was, it was awesome. really, really cool. It made us all very happy. Yes, it did. Especially yes. me. The other thing that happened, though, was when we were in South Africa. I know we're supposed to be talking about coming up season, but yeah. while we were in South Africa. Yes. We're um, just recapping, that's it, all. We're going to recap real quick. And um, what ended up happening is a big goal of ours going over there was for our day to shoot a Cape Buffalo. Yes. With, with his Hoyt. With his Hoyt. So and um, the first stalk in, they, they know the Doug boy they're going after. And we saw that, it. And we made, a, we made our track around it. We tried to figure out what the best route was to get a stalk on it. And uh, well, He had different plans. Yeah, he had different plans. Yeah, we weren't too slightly. sure. We were, we were thinking maybe we are going to set up outside of the bush, the, the thorns and everything else, but we're like, you know what, we kind of know where he's at. We're going to make our move with the bow getting in close because, I mean, you got to get close because right. these animals are thick. Right. And you have to have a lot, a lot of poundage, a lot of kinetic energy behind your arrow to actually right. do what it needs it to do mm-hmm. on these animals. So we get in, we go, start going through these thorn bushes, and it's there's some good thickets, and unknown to us, this, this bull is at 15 yards. And I mean, it's it's coming. It's thick. Oh, Nobody's yeah. seen him. No, I mean, he not just... at all. We just look over and we just hear a, a limb crack, and I go, "Fricky, Fricky!" And sure enough, I mean, I'm I'm panicking because I'm like, I don't have a gun. Fricky's right next to me. He's got the big gun. I get out of the way, 
And you almost plowed dead over because oh, he yeah. was filming and Eddie was filming and, on yep. a different angle. And Frick, yeah, I just see Fricky turn around. I'm like, oh, boom, and boom, boom, and boom, boom. So yeah, that's pretty exciting. So, but if you want to see that, you kind of have to go over to, to yes. one of our social channels mm -hmm. and, yep. and to actually get to see that part. That Ralph so. and Vicky or, or Jane Aubrey. Yeah. Right, right. You know, and that solidifies actually, you, you know, you, you, want, you go to a consumer show, you go to a hunting show and you see all these, you know, South African, African outfitter, you know, mm -hmm. PHs. Yep. For safaris, yeah. yep. Yet you don't know their credentials. Yep. You, you, no, you know and, what I mean? And, and we've known Fricky from Fricky. since nineties, oh, yeah. early nineties. Yeah. Like Absolutely. Thirty years, you guys have. Oh yeah. Older so you, we knew years. his credentials. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And we honestly, know he's a stand up, and he's gonna take. He's gonna do what he needs to do. He and, did. Obviously. And when <laughs> that buffalo landed, he had to take a feet. step back. Oh yeah, it was feet. It, it was, was feet. Feet from his feet. I mean, it was. Here's to you, Fricky. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you for saving our crew. And now, well. We got to go back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. We're gonna RJ's got to get it. Yep. Okay, so what do we got going on now? Now we kind of recapped everything. Well, we, we still have one more recap that we really haven't talked about yet. What's oh. that? And that was your bear hunt. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got oh, Cree up River Lodge. Close and personal. Yeah, that was, uh, you, you know, since COVID, we, we always said this, you know, you, we yeah. haven't been able to go up north. Now we now that everything's open, we did. Yep. Mm -hmm. Finally. And Finally. with Patrick and everybody, Brad Fenson, great outdoor writer from Alberta, oh, you yeah. know, he helped us get put this mm -hmm. together. All Tourism people. Saskatchewan helped us, you, you know what I mean? And yep. We found a place that, that absolutely has what, what we had before, you know, yes. elsewhere. Yep. But we, you know, it just, it was crazy. These bears have their age structure, so they have oh. when they have, they feed on fish, so they get their you know all the they protein big, and calcium, big, big melons, brick heads, yep, oh, and, beautiful uh, bears. And this bear just we we had the sow in, and we know at this time of year mm -hmm. if you got the sow, you're gonna just have board. patience. Just wait. Just wait. Yeah. You know, just like getting engaged on a mountaintop, you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, I think he just compared you guys to a sour yeah, yeah, sour. Well, I've always okay. said I'm like a bear. I got a yeah. good 40 yard dash. And then and you're that's done. It. Yep. That's it. That's and you hibernate. Mm. That's very yeah. true. And you gorge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so. Pretty you're, much, yeah. yeah. Actually, you are a bear. Yeah, I got a pretty wow, big head. Pretty yeah, cool. you're yeah. kind of like a sloth. We should bear, measure though. it. Yeah, we should. But uh, <laughs> maybe I'll beat Leo. Oh, I, <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, I don't know. Leo. I don't know if you have Leo. the length. That's true. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But but I mean, you know, Eddie and I were there, and and as usual, the bear, his posture said when he looked up, mm -hmm. he sees something. We're all on the ground, all ground, you know, eye level, yep. and he just made that decision. He wanted to come and see what we were. And as he came closer, I, I was like, well, I got my Hoyt. So either there he's going to lose or we're going to lose. And I had pretty much confidence that it wasn't going to be us. Yeah. Yeah. I even told yeah. Eddie, I said, don't worry, little buddy. You know, I won't let you get killed tonight. <laughs> and he'd only, been on, yeah, he'd only been on one bear yeah. hunt before this. Yeah. And that was with me in BC, but it was my rifle hunt. Right. My browning is 130 yards. Exactly. Yeah. You know, I mean, we had, we had a closer encounter with him, but yeah, not at eight yards and... well yeah he came to that branch and that would that branch laying on the ground was eight eight feet away and he stepped over it mm -hmm. and you know i was already at full draw mm -hmm. and then he backed up he said something yeah. you know what i mean and he backed up and he turned and i had to wait for him to expose that little Crazy. gap and when he did i spit fired him and as you know, he didn't mm -hmm. go far. Oh, yeah. no. no, not at all. No. It was pretty gory, though, too. It that was. Spitfire it, it, really it opened up the wound. It did. Yep. He, he went down on camera. It was amazing. Oh, yeah. 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 He didn't go far at all. <laughs> that was good. No. But I, I, I will call it out, okay? He was a great bear. He's a 20 inch bear. Mom shot it close to a 21. Mm -hmm. so. And it's crazy, too, because we were, you, know, you two hunters, I didn't you two say were hunting. It, by the way. And you guys were the last hunters in the last group of hunters yes. at yeah. camp. And there was this still... is the last week of, of their of season. Bear yeah. Camp. yeah. And we had trail cameras up at other sites, and we're still seeing, <sighs> still seeing. big, beautiful bears. Oh. Absolutely. It's, it's definitely a place that, that we will be returning. Mm -hmm. yes. you, you know what I mean? And Absolutely. the fishing. You oh and God. I, oh. we learned oh, how yeah. to, you, you know, hunting spot the and stalk big northerns with the fly rods. That was cool. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Like we'll get you up there. Oh, okay. That's gonna yep. be awesome. Okay. Maybe we'll maybe. see. Maybe one day. Okay. You're, you're gonna have to. It, it, you get suntan because you're on it, the water it, so much, oh, or yeah. you're sitting out. There's no tree stands because there's no, no trees. You guys could go there on your honeymoon. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Pre River Lodge <laughs> honeymoon. <laughs> there you go. Fly there we go. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, fishing and hunting together. Mm -hmm. That's how mom and I started. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. There you go. That'd be awesome. That would be really cool. And honestly. I'm also very surprised. I mean, we haven't run Eddie off considering we have I know. A He's had buffalo a pretty, charge, a bear at eight feet. 
He got yeah, he got stuck he in the thorn bush with the buffalo bush coming when the at him. Charging. I mean, yeah, and <laughs> if we he have, hasn't ran yet. We haven't broken him yet. Yeah. I mean So far, knock on wood, no stitches, no gashes, no broken mm. bones, right? Yes. Right. And no wood. fear. He's a stand up yeah. guy. Yeah. So he's yep. got it. <laughs> and and he did the mountain with us. Exactly. Right? Yeah. For the with engagement the with the camera hand. in his hand. I mean, so Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think, so I guess, I think I guess at least we didn't break him yet. No, not yet. I think he's doing pretty good. I think yeah, so. so. I would say he's so. He's got a big old smile. He's, he's sitting behind the camera right now. Behind the camera, right camera he's smiling. Yeah. <laughs> I never get compliments. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This, this is your one for the year. That's, That's it. it. So, so, so don't, don't get used to it, Eddie. Don't get used to it. No, 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 no. All right, well, we'll go over some questions that we had got asked online. Okay. And then. Well, maybe we'll have some questions of our own that we'll come up with, and we'll just okay. all answer them together. Okay. Okay. So start us off, okay. Aubrey. Okay, Steve asks, how tough is the terrain out west? I guess it depends on where you go. Yeah. Right. Where you go, what you're hunting, when you're hunting. Yeah, <laughs> Steve, I, I mean, the big thing to tell you is, you, you know, anywhere you do, you do your research, you, you know what I mean? And if, you know, if, if, if you're not acclimated to the right. elevation, then choose your hunt accordingly. You, you yeah. know what I mean? And, and, and right. your, your, your health condition mm -hmm. and everything. So never, there's so many people that we've watched through the years that really overbook themselves. Over, I don't you know, know anyone that would do that. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, what I'm saying, thank you, honey. That really was a nice slam. But, uh, you, you know, we sit, we sit here and, and, you know, if you're from the Midwest and you've never hawked, walked in the mountains, right. it's a whole different transition. It really Especially is. with elevation. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, so, you know, maybe you look at more of the, the foothills, you, you know, or, or the, more of the plains areas to start your hunts. And the other thing I truly believe in, and that is hunting each animal is stages. Mm -hmm. If you've hunted white-tailed deer, I don't suggest you jump in to go hunt bugling elk on your first hunt. You, you know what I mean? Maybe maybe go for a mule deer or, go, or you know, a plains mule deer or go go for antelope and see the difference in the situations and everything. Mm -hmm. The landscape, you, everything. Yeah, be, be, because, you, you know, there's and, it's all different. You know, and, and if it is your whitetail hunter out east and you do want to go for that elk, Look at a bunch of different outfitters Look at Carol. and different areas. Tree stands. That, that's what I was gonna say. Yep. See if if it's gonna be hiking up mountains like we did this past weekend, or if it's like KRO in Utah, where you're hunting in tree stands over water holes instead. And, and ground there's and various and options and not, depending on where you're going. Even R and K. R and K isn't a bad elk hunt. I no, mean, they've got tree stands. They have tree stands. And, you can go spot and, you and stalk. walk a lot. Oh yeah. But I think the elevation there is seven. Six to seven. Six, to, six to seven. Six to eight. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, it, it's there's a lot of places. But if you go to, I know, like my very first elk hunt, I didn't get an elk on. We went to Flat Top Wilderness, yep. and we were hunting at ten. Mm -hmm. That was about, wasn't it up there at yep. ten? And I we mean, learned from that. We learned yeah. from that. We're letting you guys know our mistakes. Like, don't, don't, don't go do that right off the bat. It's rough. Mm -hmm. It is really rough. You know, yeah. I mean, it catches up to you really quick. Yeah. It when does. You're in thin air. Well, it, it's like any hunt. You, you, you know what I mean? Each hunt has its own characteristics. And challenges. Absolutely. You, you know, if you've only hunted whitetails and you hunt two hours, three hours in the morning mm -hmm. and two or three hours in the afternoon, and then that first hunt you go on, wherever it is, and you're sitting an hour before sun up to an hour after sundown. And you're Ooh. packing your lunch. You're beat. It makes for you're a exhausted, right? Days. And you, mm -hmm. I mean, so, mm -hmm. so each hunt has its own ups and downs and challenges. And, and I think, you know, to, to answer, you know, how is the terrain? I think take your time and, and do, your, do your homework and also train. And I'm not saying be at the gym every day for four hours a day. Just you know, walk. like some of this stuff, you got to lift, you got to run, you got to, no, just walk. Just, you know? walk. just get out there and do something. Start yeah, off just walking help. around the house, then maybe go ahead and put a backpack on, add yep. a little weight to it, yep. just to mm -hmm. kind of get a little more used to what you're doing. And again, it all goes back to where you're hunting and how you're hunting. And yep. if you're hunting in a tree stand all day, you can get used to that really easily. You know, right. that's not a big deal. If you're hunting and you're hiking elk all day long, all over the mountainside, and you're carrying a pack, and not only do you have, whether it's, you know, your release, your binos, mm -hmm. your lunch bag, 
you know, everything else that you made, your knives, the whole mm -hmm. nine yards are in Every your pack. Every weight. little thing adds weight to <laughs> it. You know, and usually on elk hunts, though, if you are like hiking after them all day long, you usually have that mid afternoon when they're not working, anyways. They're all kind of all siesta, so we all siesta. Yep. Yes. Nothing better than siesta nice. on a hillside. Oh, yeah. yeah. In and the timber and the pines or yep. anywhere. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I think the other thing, Steve, is, is real simple is your equipment. You're going to change some of your equipment, you know, mm -hmm. from, from hunting deer or whatever to, yeah. to coming out west up in the mountains. Footwear is critical. Absolutely. Yeah, and wear it in before. Don't just go don't, by, don't no. by on the way to yeah. your camp. Yeah. I know you guys boosters. just posted, Mom. You, you know what I mean? Put, yeah. Putting yeah. another pair of boots on and wearing them, not around just around the house, but also you know walking back and forth, mm -hmm. hiking and everything. And our first, our big fish trip was going to, when I proposed for Aubrey. Went right, up to yeah, the Spanish Peaks and yeah. literally climbed a mountain with them. Yes. Yep. After wearing them in a little bit, but yep. that's just another thing. If you have the the capability of doing it, why not? You know. Well, and you know, honestly, so you think about it, so. We all did great climbing up. I mean, you'd lose breath because we're oh, elevation yeah. and stuff like that, and your legs start getting like jello, and then as we're going shale. across the oh. front of the shale and the whole nine yards. But did you notice your toes on the way down? Oh, yes. Yeah. They so, you know, good. you can go and you can walk level ground all over the place, and that's great, and you can wear your boots You've in that way. Do You've some got type to, of I mean, incline, yep. like everywhere in the United States, there's got to be somewhere where there's a, hill. a little bit of a hill. Even if like, it's just like a little. When we lived river, in Illinois, you could down. actually go to your high school and mm -hmm. walk oh, up yeah. and down to the, the football, football field. field. Yep. You know, so that your feet get sidestepping and stuff like that. Is many of those. But for... where you really <laughs> yes. need to, to do that because you yep. will feel the difference in it. You Absolutely. know, I remember years ago, and I, like at the Bass Pros and Cabela's, you remember they had the little. Yeah, they used to have little rock terrain things. Little to try rock terrain. Oh Remember that? Yeah. I thought that was awesome. I always because, thought it was fun because I was, yeah. I was, I was yeah. small at the time. I was like, you oh my small, gosh, yeah. there's rocks. Up and down and up and down. Yeah. <laughs> but the big thing is is getting your foot sized right. Yep. Getting you in the great, the right the best stock. footwear that you can afford. I'm not telling right. you, you know, but, but that you can afford. And a lot of people don't understand the value of a good sock. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, I've realized that. And yeah. we knew yes. it was going to be hot out on when you went when we all climbed mm -hmm. up that yeah. mountain. So I had really thin socks on, so and I, I should oh, have yeah. known better. I should have just worn a little thicker, you know, wool mm -hmm. sock or something yep. like that. Even though it would have been hotter, I wouldn't have felt my toes sliding because that's exactly why it slid yeah. was because I didn't have a thick enough sock right. on. So and what we learned years ago with that is you can get a real thin. It's like a polyurethane, just a thin sock, real thin, right. and have liner. your heavier sock. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. your liner, mm -hmm. and then that wicks away the sweat. Yeah. You, you know what oh, I mean? Yeah. So then you don't start this. Because yeah. once yeah, you start oh. that, there's blisters. Ouch! Yeah. Yes. And then it starts to hurt. Yeah. Yep. And that's a really important part, though, too, is a diet leading yes. up to it. Yes. yes. Even, even like a little thing, as well as all of us know, is when you eat fast food every day, Oof. you lose energy quick. You don't right. you put it's on a, some weight. You can do a lot of different things. But it's a false. Yeah. When, yeah. You, when you start getting a better diet, whether it's more meat or protein or vegan or whatever it might be, just... No, meat. Yeah, well, meat, meat. meat. We're meat people. Meat, oh, I know, no, I know. Yeah. But <laughs> just uh, whatever, Protein. whatever somebody Protein, prefers. Protein, baby. Just whatever that diet is that you prefer. Yeah. When you start to eat better things for you, you feel better. better. You feel yeah. more energy throughout the day, especially leading into the hunt. And, I mean, usually when you go to camps, especially like R&K and everywhere else like that. I mean, Oh, you're going to get oh, fed well. Oh, yeah. Well. yeah. You have no worry about starving there yeah. ever. <laughs> no. most, you know, most every camp we go to is that way. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, and the big thing is, 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 like you said, RJ, you know, watch what you eat. Mm -hmm. And don't gorge yourself in the morning. Because if you know you're going to go on a hike and you eat you a ton, yeah. you may suffer, you know, a little bit later in that mm -hmm. morning. So be prepared for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. You want to continue this? Sure. Over? Might as well. Willard asks, are crossbows allowed? Okay. It all. Each state, state has different regulations. Right. So you, what yeah. about Colorado? Is no. it allowed? Nope. No. No. Nope. No, unless you're handicapped. Oh, yep. And you have to get to go through the doctor's letter, and then you have to go through the state to get a permit or something through the handicap. Wyoming, you can use crossbows. Right. The, the biggest. The, I remember it changed Illinois, a little bit. Illinois, Illinois you could. Arch, okay. Crossbows came into the archery season. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yep. So here's the big thing. No matter where you're going, always check the regu regulations. Absolutely. Don't go by a podcast you hear. Yeah. Go and <laughs> yeah. get the facts because, you know, nobody wants to be responsible, no. you, you, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. for telling you something and they, they're not sure. Right, so, I couldn't so, tell you if, like, New Mexico, if you could use crossbows. Right. I wouldn't even, I, I don't, I don't, know. don't I even no know. Yeah. I, don't know. I don't know. But I do know Wyoming you can because we have been in camp. where oh. like, Table Mountain Outfitters, we've had crossbow hunters during antelope season. Mm -hmm. R&K. They're yeah. hunting elk oh, yeah. in Wyoming, so we know that, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? But, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm 
not really. And I know Colorado is handicapped. I know yep. that. So, so again, just just check your regulations. Okay. You, you yep. know what I mean? Yep. It's real simple to do. Just go on there and ask. Yep. Can right. I use a crossbow during elk season in archery, or Montana, however. or yeah. in what? You, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All right. Do you want to continue? Keep us going. Yeah, might as well. Scott asks, I'm looking at doing a DIY hunt. I'd just like to know what state for over-the-counter pronghorn hunt would give me the best chance of possibly getting one. Just want to get out one time to try Western and try to have a hunt. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Well, Scott, <laughs> Colorado's over-the-counter antelope archery. For archery. Yes. For See, archery. Scott, we don't know what you're asking as far as if it's right. rifle or, or, or archery. Yep. Right, um, that's the hard part. So, yep. like, like, Colorado is over-the-counter archery in most of our areas here. Mm -hmm. um, the part of the other states, you may have to apply for even archery ones, mm -hmm. but all rifle tags are... are you have to draw. Draw. Yep. Yeah. For for animals. The majority. In Colorado. Yep. Right. In Colorado. Um, honestly, I well, Wyoming, I believe, is draw for antelope. I don't think there's over the counter tags there either. Right. And I, I think know. New Mexico. I'm still learning the draw. It's. I know. Yes, it's you a know lot. What? It's I a mean, lot to take in. We're, we're from Illinois, so I mean, we've only <laughs> been out here a couple of years. We're still learning all these tricks and stuff <laughs> like that. Um, the biggest thing is like Ralph, you've always said before, is go online and check out the different um, game and fish departments. Mm -hmm. You can find out the the chance, you know, the population of them, the buck to doe ratio mm -hmm. of every of whichever species you want to look at. You know, mm -hmm. you can find out on the game department's websites if it's over the counter. You can look at the terrain. You can look, at, and you can go and you. There's other websites out there too that you can actually go out there and you can, heck, you could just go and do a search on on the internet. Mm -hmm. You know, and say, hey, best place to do yourself, do it yourself antelope archery or rifle season over the counter and you're probably going to get answers yeah. and we hate yes. to throw it out that way but we don't know the answer the other thing yep. too is you could probably call whoever your local 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 <laughs> yeah, whoever your local game warden is and they can probably get all the details well your you. best thing to go is to go to the division of wildlife yeah. Yeah. you know what yes. i mean <laughs> check out the units for example here's a good one scott L last year western wyoming eastern utah yeah got nailed with, snow. with a tremendous amount of snow, mm -hmm. and a lot of game died. Uh, let's let's it call bad. what it, it is, man. They lost antelope, they lost mule deer, they lost a, yeah. brutal winter. So, yes. so first off, I would tell you, please do your research. You, you know what I mean? Because I would tell you this fall, probably not a good area to go to. Um, right. You, you, right. you know what I mean? And also, when I was growing up, and you know, I'd come out west. I'd either write letters or I'd make phone calls. Now you can go. You didn't have the internet. You didn't have the internet. Yeah. Right. And I'm st I still suck on the internet. So so <laughs> I, I mean, but but the reality of it is, is you can turn around now and start asking questions. Say, hey, listen, I'm looking at. I'm just I'm just throwing one. I'm looking at the northwestern plains of Colorado for public land. Anybody out there know anything about it? And what units should I look for? Throw it out there. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. throw it out there and be honest with them. Tell them, listen, I've never been there. I don't even know what to expect. I'm going to personally tell you, I think antelope, if it's archery, I don't know if that would be the, for, you know, to come out west for the first time. I don't know if I would look at that on a do it yourself. Here's why <laughs> early season, in an antelope season, you're dealing with, I mean, the best, highest success is sitting at a water hole. And hot temperatures. If Very. you don't live there, you you know, you're gonna go out there right before you start your hunt and you there could be a ground blind there on public land already. Right. Yeah. Right. You know, somebody could be there already or because it's dried up already. Yeah. So, yeah. so so you don't know. Yep. Um you would be everybody would be amazed that there are a whole lot of landowners. You're gonna think I'm crazy, but here out west that you know aren't leasing to an outfitter. Mm -hmm. And they, a lot of them just charge you a, a day fee. Mm -hmm. Like you know, an access fee. An access fee. Yep. So, so if you go online and just start asking the right questions, I would love to tell you, you know, there's, there is great opportunity. You know, but, but if, it's, if it's archery for antelope, that early season in water holes, you may have so much competition on public land, it's going to be real tough. What I would do is I would look at the latter part of the archery season when those bucks are very territorial and you can decoy them. Mm -hmm. So now you can cover a lot of ground in a buggy, hiking, or even, you know, driving your truck on public land, locate a herd, use the terrain, use a decoy. So let that terrain, that hill, that ridge block you from the herd. You sneak up, you 
put that decoy up and get ready because they're so territorial. Those bucks are very, you know, aggressive given mid-September on. Right. That's what I would suggest, you know. So, so if it's for the archery season. Yep, if it's, so, yeah, if it's yeah. for the archery. If it's for the rifle or gun, again, utilize, utilize, the, you know, the, the Internet. Yeah. Be, because we can't give you enough intel no. or information. And anybody that says they can, I'm telling you, they're they're not telling you the truth. Put it out there. Say, listen, I'm you know, first time hunter. I want to head out west. Does anybody living out there have an idea? You'll be amazed at how the outdoor family will gravitate Absolutely. to you and embrace you and say, hey, One here's what I got. You'll even find some people that say, listen, I live out here and I lost my hunting buddy. You, you know what I mean? Or, yeah. or my my hunting partner can't make it. Why don't you? Why yeah. don't we talk and it's just crazy. It, it could work out really good in your advantage. Absolutely. Okay. Next. Shall we continue again? Go. Go for it. All right. I go got this. It. I'll take. I'll take this one. Oh. Oh, what a Thank guy. You. What a guy. Thank you. I got you. Thank you. What a guy, gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. What do you recommend to bring on a western hunt? Packs, boots, etc. Like a big that's a. Pack, that's a. That's a very pack. kind of general question. But what we can do, we'll break it down. How about what would you bring? Like we were just talking about antelope hut. Okay. Ground blind, sitting on a water hole. Lots of early water. early season. Yeah, water, 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 water. food. <laughs> hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Um, depending on a blind, you, you, you know what yeah. I mean. Um, you don't need you don't need mountain hiking boots for that type of hunt. Yeah. Right. You know, it's a, dry. a yeah. nice a nice stocking boot, a nice hiker yeah. low because you're going to deal with a lot of heat. And again, we're addressing archery season. You, right. You, yeah. you, you right. You know what I mean. Yeah. Um, you don't need a big backpack. Honestly, something we've we've used Honestly, I our like elks. Big backpack, I know but that's you do. Me. But well, that's because it's full of snacks. It and is. Water. Full of elks, well, Bass Pro, Cabela's, they all make those blind bags. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? You yeah. could throw your lunch you could, and a cooler, huh? Yeah. Or oh. even like the day packs that Alps makes. Yeah. They're yeah. Awesome. A little one. You just throw on your back. Yeah. They're like yeah, the, the. It's about this big. The yeah. ones we all just carried on our yeah. backs in the mountain. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Last yeah. weekend we did. Yeah. They're perfect because then you throw that on your back. You put in batteries, chargers, cameras, whatever you're gonna bring with you. And then it sounds like you're filming this. Yeah. Well, right. Battery chargers and cameras. Well, battery chargers Always. for your phone, maybe. Okay. Uh, no, actually, yes. Actually, that is, that, good that, idea. that is Especially a good if you're idea. sitting you, there all day you long. You need to have a battery for backup for your phone mm -hmm. just in case, because if you do you get out in the middle of nowhere and you are by yourself, mm -hmm. you need to make sure you have some kind of. Because we'll be honest, like we do plan our phones a lot when we're just sitting there waiting. No, I read books. <laughs> she reads. Well, you read lots books. of books. Aubrey reads. Books. I play I games on my phone. And she sort of judges her hunts by the books. So in other words, if she reads a whole book like in a day, day and a half means activity wasn't that great just saying that it's true it happens mm -hmm. but honestly like also early sea when you're doing antelope hunting archery season not just water but bring something whether it's a, a gate or something that gives you electrolytes mm -hmm. something else even if it's just a little powder something that you can put in your water because yep. you're sitting there you are dehydrating you are no matter what you're saying you're <laughs> gonna need it i mean you will get a headache if you don't yes. stay hydrated period and you need to make sure you have those electrolytes in you as well yeah binos you need binos yes. in your pack. That the, the, best, the best you can afford. Right. Mm -hmm. Not right. saying to go spend, you know what I mean, but mm -hmm. but truly because you're out west, you're going to use your optics way more than you're used to in a tree stand or ground blind for right. white-tailed deer. It's so open, especially when yes. you're on the yes. prairies. Yes. They yes. can be hundreds of yards out there, and they just look like a little speck mm -hmm. <laughs> if you don't have your binos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I mean, like obviously... <laughs> Other things that you would want in there is obviously a rangefinder because the terrain is going to be different <laughs> than sitting in a whitetail woods. <laughs> it's going to look either further or closer depending on the animal. An antelope are going to look smaller than a whitetailed. There's everything that will mess up with your head yes. for sure. Oh, yeah. You know, you got to be ready for all of that. Yeah. Toilet Vicky, paper. Vicky touched, touched, touched on a really good point, and that is an antelope has this big of legs. <laughs> They're tiny oh. legs. Big chest, but small mm -hmm. legs. If you're just used to whitetail deer, please. Have ch take take the time to go look at other animals. Mm -hmm. Notice yes. the 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 atat, atom, uh, anatomy? anatomy 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 of the game. Know that it like an elk has a bigger bone structure than a deer. Right. Well, you, it's you, like we were just yeah. over again. We we're over in Africa and like look you at say, your yeah. Cape buffalo. Well, the Cape buffalo, but also a lot of the African animals. Yeah. All Where their the vitals, vitals sit, sit really far forward. forward. So yep. you want right. to quite literally be on or in that shoulder. Mm -hmm. Right. But on and like it's an antelope, crazy. a great point. It's a crazy thing. On an antelope, thing. they have their, their brown, and then it goes to the white, or their and they yeah. have they have an aiming point. There's they a do. dark they shadow. Do. It's I'm very nice saying. of them, right in the corner, nice. right? Yes. Of, of where their elbow and then their their leg yep. bone goes up, and there's their their yep. their shoulder. Yep. Yep. You know what I mean? So it's right there, and I mean it's great. It's got an aiming point. I'm mm -hmm. just saying. And, and the other thing too is, 
there's different equipment for different species. Right. Yeah. You know, when you're coming out west, you're probably, you know, if you're elk hunting and if you're doing it yourself, I'm telling you, get a great back frame. You, you, you yes, know, a pack yeah. frame you where, a pack frame where, where you can get your waist belt, you can get your shoulders because you're taking that meat out and yeah. that meat's the first thing that comes out. You know, you yep. know what I mean? So, so, so it's critical. Equipment choices mm-hmm. aren't yeah. made. I'm going to say this. On the internet, they're not. Go to the store, check them out, feel, you know, yes. get a good feel of the equipment. You know, yep. like I'm a, cre- when I'm walking through a store and I look at hunting gear. We all do this. We're doing this. We do this yeah. like, we're scratching. Like to see if it's quiet. Because if it, it makes quiet? noise, I, I don't want it. No. Mm-hmm. Uh, unless we're going like new Fianna Moose Hunt or something yeah. like that, where mm-hmm. you need good rain gear. You can't really yeah. have yeah, that, quiet rain gear. You're, you're right. But, but you got to deal with that at that point. But yes. yeah. And, you know, another thing, too, that we have, and if, if you're doing, like we're talking about, what else to put in your pack, and this is just like a safety thing. It's convenient <clears throat> also, but we have in reaches. Mm-hmm. So safety-wise, if you it's it's a Garmin in reach. No, we're not sponsored by them. No, nope, no. Nope. But they have texting, for, satellite texting, and it also has a spot button on them. Yep. So, I mean, you can, if something, an emergency, you press that SOS. button. Someone can, yep. An SOS. Someone mm-hmm. could come and get you. You can text your family. They can tell where you're at. And that's another thing too is always remember to tell people where you're at, mm-hmm. yes. always, so that if something happens, mm-hmm. you know yeah. someone can come and help you. Now Ralph and RJ, they they laugh at me because well RJ did it first. We use Life 360 more than we probably should, which sounds stupid. Again, no, we have nothing to do with them, but we use it all the time. When he was <laughs> first started driving, he hated me. I told him don't ever give me a reason to stalk him, and I won't stalk him. But actually, I think all of us... But it's not us, necessarily for me anymore. No, I think all of us use it more often to find someone else to see where he's, what he's doing. You know, if he's hmm. up putting in a food who. plot or something like that, we can just make sure that he's still moving. Just to exactly. see. Because <laughs> he has a habit of leaving his phone behind, mm-hmm. but we always need to know where he's at. So Yes. Oh, well. <laughs> and he's, he's just a little bit dangerous every once in a while. He, he accident, accident prone. prone. Yes, yeah. just accident prone. Occasionally. Slightly. Yes. <laughs> Slightly. Okay. It's crazy. Another question? Uh, continue. Sorry. We... How long have you hunted out west? Like, when Ooh. did you guys start? So I didn't come out 79. west. Seventy nine. I was gonna say I didn't come out that? west until. I know. Nine. Do you remember my birthday? Four. Yeah. What's my birthday? What year? <laughs> January sixteenth. What year? What year? <laughs> hold on! Hold on! Now, come on! Come on! Come on! Well, you're doing 22. Oh, you're 22. Oh, that was easy. Take 22 years off of, of right? Of, how, of how, now. What year? So that's 2011? No. 2011? <laughs> wow. What, what, I don't wow. Know. Um, I see how it is, Dad. Yep. Well, well we moved to Atlanta, minus, Illinois. Minus in 10 99. more years. 99? Minus 10 more years from 2011. Okay. <laughs> 13. What? No, 2011. What? Oh. <laughs> 2001. Oh, good job. Yay. <laughs> and next oh. week on our math quiz, oh we will focus. <laughs> next week we'll be too studying. many lights on me, damn it. Yeah, I can't so focus. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. Um, so now, yeah, no, he definitely went out yeah. west mm-hmm. well before I ever did. My wow. first western hunt, honestly, was that elk hunt up in the um, flat tops. Flat tops. What was yours? And then we hunted ante- antelope after Antelope that, but... Spearhead Ranch, Frank Moore. He remembers that Dang, pretty well. Yeah. He, like, oh, yeah. rattled. It's fine, Dad. And, and I fell in love with it. I really did. Just because it was different. <laughs> you, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. It, you know, everything was white-tailed deer. White-tailed oh, deer. We all love turkeys. white-tailed. Oh, we love it. But oh, yeah. coming out west, but, it's a whole new, like, game. Yeah. Well, and the crazy thing, too, is, you know, you're sitting on a... You're sitting... I remember this. I'm sitting at a water hole for antelope, okay? Mm-hmm. And I got mule deer walking in. Right. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? I'm yeah. like, I had also had a ton of sheep. Yeah. You know what I mean? And cat, but 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 I mean, that that's what was so cool. Mm-hmm. You know. And then I, you know, I had no money, so I would save everything. And, and pops thought I was nuts, man. You're spending four hundred bucks to go out west. You, you, you know what I mean? That is a long time ago because it's more than four hundred dollars yeah. for tag. Saying, so yeah. 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 But uh, no, <laughs> and, and I just it 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 truly captivated my soul. I loved it, <laughs> and I try. You know, been blessed to be able to do it ever since, and. uh and now we live here. Yes. So we actually were, were blessed to make a dream come true. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I agree. 100%. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. That is really cool. Do you like it out west, Aubrey? I do. I love it. Do you like it out west more than whitetail hunting? 
Yes. Or do you like white hunting? Nope, I like it at West. But you have a vendetta for them this yes, fall. Yes, I had bad luck with them last year, so. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're getting payback this but year. But Aubrey, yes. that's normal. So yes, white no, I did I deer and bow hunting for like it, less than two years. Yes. <laughs> you know, yes. you can't, I'm you know. I'm competitive. Yeah, I know, oh, we like, noticed Oh, that. what? A little, no. A little really? competitive. A really? Little. Wait a minute, what? let's do this. Gee, who has the biggest mule deer in the house? Hmm. Oh, Aubrey does. Hmm. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Thanks, who Dr. Shot, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> who, who, who shot the first turkey with their archery equipment in with their With your house? voice. Oh, oh, look at that. Wow. Yeah. So, see, she'll get it. Some she'll get it. Yes. Who has wow. the biggest archery, Tom, though? Oh. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, there's no competition Whatever. over there because no, there's none here no, either. No, of course no. not. No. Okay, it's just, next it's question. It's just love. That's all. It's, yeah. just, it's all out of love. It's just, it's just out of it love. Yes. Do you want to use the last one? Uh, I'll do the last one. Okay. It's pretty. We kind of already talked about it. Uh oh. Still. Uh -oh. Here's the last question on paper. We still have more. After this. You, you oh, don't you tell do? us anything, but yeah. so you guys talk about it beforehand. Well, I, I see. Yeah, I don't know about bit. the other questions. Once well, we're just gonna roll off the cuff. Oh. <clears throat> I have some questions lined okay. up. Don't worry. Uh. <laughs> what animals do you hunt in the West? All of them. All of them. All of them. All of them. How's that for From an All elk of them. to antelope to bears, bears to everything. Turkeys, deer, turkeys. turkeys. What about whitetail? Are they you can, yes, yep. you can hunt yes, whitetail. We have on your yes. well, majority of your river, bo river bottoms. Mm -hmm. A lot of you know anywhere. Yes, I have. That Montana. What? Yes, you have. Yes, you've hunted you've white tails. Tails <gasps> you shot hunted them in uh, white tails. I was like, wait a minute. What? Oh my uh, gosh. Yeah. You know th th that's what's so nice about being out west. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you draw, you can you can potentially elk, sheep, goats. Moose, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. We were just at Picket uh -huh. Wire, remember? He's, yeah, he had, had pictures. Yeah, yeah they yeah. had pictures of a moose right across the road right. from, from the ice cream shop. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Bill was telling us. I mean, he said that. Blew he up said that the next couple days, just, everybody just, was coming. Everyone yeah, wanted the to moose. come. They're the calling. Moose. We want to see the moose. The moose was here the day before. Yeah. How do I know where it is? <laughs> so funny. You, you know, so the vast array of different species. You know, it's really cool. And don't. I mean, let's talk about even just small game. Oh yeah, oh. grouse, prairie yeah. dogs. You and, and when you coyotes. when you go on a prairie dog <laughs> yes. hunt, I'm going to tell you right now, you're doing that landowner a tremendous favor mm -hmm. because Absolutely. they when they they move in, oof, you know, cattle, yeah. ho ho uh, horses, everything, fall yes. in those holes, snip, snap their legs and everything. Yeah. I mean, so yeah. so you're helping a lot. There's a lot of opportunity out west. So so mm -hmm. and again, seize the moment. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. So I, I'm going to ask this too, kind of going off of that. Uh -oh. What's what's your favorite place to hunt elk? Like mountains, more flatlands? Wherever they're at. Oh, that's, well, there you of go. course. That's a good, that's a good name. Do you prefer like more hilly or more mount, like more steep mountainy? Like do you Idaho, like, like, do you like you Idaho mountains harder, compared to like a smaller? Wyoming exactly. hills? Exactly. What what do you what do you personally you're, prefer? You're blowing his mind right now. Yeah, He's are. trying to think. How do I answer this? Is that a good uh, question? It, no, it's a great question. <laughs> I, I like it all. Like mom said, wherever they're at. Um, you, you know, it, it's it's like everyone asking, what's your favorite animal to hunt? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's hard because we love we love the country. We, we love the terrain, the the whole atmosphere, the right. smells. The, it, it, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'll tell you right now, I don't like hunting elk when it's real hot. I hate it. Right. I do not like right. it. I like to slowly move, do some calling, you, you know what I mean, yeah. and, and, and make that happen. I do like not giant, not steep terrain, yeah. but adverse terrain, you, you, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. that you're walking in, you got pines, you got quakies. Mm -hmm. yep. You get the smell. Yep. Oh my you God. Get it all. Yes, yes, oh. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so I like that. I'd, I'd rather hunt the elk there than out in sage flats. You, yeah. you, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. like hunting tule elk in California where it's just all... You, yeah. I'd rather hunt more in, in the bush. You, you, but, you know what I mean? You know, and also, like, we actually, we just had this talk the other day with the Johnsons about terrain and elk hunting and how you know, back when, when we were younger, more like your guys' age, mm -hmm. back when we were younger, you'd be like, hey, there's a herd of elk. Let's run up a mile up this steep mountain and go get them. Where now, after years of doing it, you know, he's like, now you're like, okay, they got to come down at some point. Where are they going to be and where am I going <laughs> to ambush them? All right, I, you're right, <laughs> You Vicky. know, I mean, because the further you go after them, the, the further you, you got to take that meat back out. Yes. Is, yeah. Just Here's saying. the best way Just saying. to summarize it. Mm -hmm. There's two elk on the mountain. 
a young bull and an old bull, <laughs> okay? And they're oh. they're looking down over this little pasture and the little bull goes, holy cow, look at all those girls. Let's run down and get a couple. <laughs> and the old bull looks at him and goes, nah, let's walk down and get them all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that guy. Really? Right. No, I didn't mean it that way. I didn't mean it that way. No, no. Yeah, I'm the guy that says, let's I'm take our patience. Bull, old bull, and oh. this is what we're doing here? What the heck? No. How you you know, everyone that? goes, where did this podcast oh. go to? Yeah. How oh did RJ gosh. get so big and tall? And, you know, he lifts every day, and it's real simple. <laughs> we raised him to be this way. He's to a pack, pack out all our game. <laughs> pack meal. He's a pack meal. I was meal. raised on meat, game meat, potatoes, and corn. And milk. Oh, milk. And milk. And a lot of milk. Holy crap. Lots of milk. Oh, and wine punch. Yeah, yeah. wine punch. Of yeah, yeah. Of a lot of that. Yeah. So, so like I, I guess. To, no, I know. You don't just, like soda, so it is what it no, is. That's I mean, good you thing. Just, so you just don't milk. like yeah. it, yeah. anyways. Just yeah. fruit punch. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I, I guess to bring it back is, is again, yeah. yes. I, 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 like, I like the terrain that, you, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. not, not that kills you, yeah. mm -hmm. but that still, it holds them. It you, makes it, the reward that much more. Yes, sir. It does. And it really does. Yeah. And, you know, again, coming out west, if it's your first time, you know, if you have a budget, I would say hold on to that budget, build that budget up a little bit more, and go to a truly qualified outfitter. Learn your first time to go yeah. out, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Take that knowledge and that experience, and then maybe the next time, you, you, you know what I mean? You could uh, do it, do it yourself. But we've seen, and not you guys, I mean, we've seen so many Oh, I'm gonna do a do it yourself because they saw this video clip or something. Yeah. They go out there and, and they have a miserable trip. Horrible hunt. <clears throat> you, 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 you know what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes it is truly better, you know, because that's how Dad learned. I, I just would drive out, <laughs> make yeah. all kinds of mistakes, and, and <laughs> which works also though. I mean, yeah, it does. If, if there's, oh, there's a, a few guys that want to come out, or guys and girls different. that want to come out and do it all together and do yeah. it yourself for the first time, you you have so many other people. But to go on mm -hmm. your own. You really... It can be difficult. It can right. be difficult, yeah. Mm -hmm. So now I have a question for you guys. Uh-oh. What are you looking forward to out west? What would you guys like to hunt? I mean, I know you've gotten an elk <coughs> and a mule deer, but mm -hmm. not with your bow. Mule yes. deer, right? Yep. Rifle with your browning, right? Mm -hmm. And then you've got an antelope with your bow. You've got an elk with your bow. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then Aubrey, bears. I know that... And, and we got bears oh, yeah, with bears. your bow. But, I mean, you know, you've got an antelope with your bow. Mm -hmm. You've got a mule deer with your browning, mm -hmm. you know. What what are you guys looking forward to? I'd really like to get a mule deer with my bow and okay. an elk with my bow. Okay. A bull. Okay. Bull. A bull. A bull elk. Yes. You have a cow tag. I do have a cow so tag. So how are you going to work this? I'm going to just go with my rifle. Oh, okay. Cuz why not? Okay. Well, why not? Well, you're going to be bow hunting elk this, you know, in September, so mm -hmm. yep. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, I forget. <laughs> I forget there's so much going on this year. But yeah. I mean, there's there's things going on. I mean, yeah. and you get to be in New Mexico with me with Brian at Top Notch. Mm -hmm. you know? That's going to be my camera girl. Hunting, hunting it was elk. funny. Did yeah. you see Brian? Brian text mom said. No, it was just you and I. And okay, yeah. Brian text mom and said, well, we're stuck I'm going to guide Brian. you. You're stuck with Brian. We're and I texted him. I said, oh, yeah. you're stuck with these two. Good <laughs> luck. Oh, we'll have so much fun. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. I can't you guys wait. I'm blast. really excited for that one. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm probably going to have there. to wear like a camera on the back of my hat to film her crying Maybe. and yes. shaking and she's trying I'm to film me hunting. I'm more excited than she is. Yes. Yes. Okay, I might need we'll that. Good. I might need to borrow yes. that. Yeah. I just get so excited for everyone. I know. I just, I love it all. Well, honestly, like when we were in Africa and like the animals that you, every time she'd shoot, an, I love just the pure, I mean, we all still shake. We all still get oh, that great yeah. feeling that, because when that's gone, we're done. Go play tennis or golf. We're done. Because yes. yep. you're but, missing what hunting's But to about. watch, right. like, like to go over there to Africa with you guys and as a new hunter with your yes. Hoyt and just, it's just, it fills our hearts, huh? And we were it's so proud so, of you. Yeah. Both of you. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? But it was, it was good. It yeah. was really good. And, and honestly, here's another thing, even though we're talking Western stuff, but if you are hunting even antelope or anything like that and mule deer or whitetails do the same thing back in the states is practice from a tree stand and they will duck your arrow yes yes learned yep. that one yeah. she learned right. that one. one she learned that one in africa yep oh, she gosh. shot at a spring buck and she thought it was her and as we, 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 we took a couple screenshots still shots and showed how far down they went gosh. and i mean that thing ducked down and mm -hmm. drew a line on it and you could see your arrow would have been just perfect but it went boom. yep Yep. So you, you got to be ready for everything. And here's the big thing. Yes. We want to stress this. None of us are machines. No. None of, no. We're all human no. beings. And Everybody we all are going to miss. And we all are going to make a hit that we wished we didn't. Yeah. yeah. 
here's the reality of it. Just like the old cowboys say, if the if that horse bucks you off, get right back yes. in the saddle. And and the yes, same sir. thing with with hunting. You know, you always try to do the best that you possibly can. Yep. But realize that we are human beings. And, and I mean, you know, God's always watching over us. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And we 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 truly try to do the best we can. But when we don't, do the best you can to recover that animal. Absolutely. Yes, and and practice, practice, practice. Yes. Because we all, I mean, as bow hunters, we want it close. Oh yeah. You know, mm -hmm. but practice further because there's times there's oppor there's times where you may get say you may get an elk in at like twenty yards, and you pin him and he goes out and stands, or maybe you don't pin him, maybe he's a hair back, mm -hmm. and he goes and he stops at fifty. Practice at fifty. Yep. You you brought up a very that we didn't the, even talk about. The, the, yep. the further the further you practice with your, and in guns too, you need to practice with yes. your rifles. Yep. Don't just go pick the gun up out of the safe mm -hmm. and go and think that it, that you're good. But with your bows, practice. I mean, twenty should become nothing. Me muscle memory should be nothing. I mean, you should see boom, 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 boom. Practice at 50, 60, mm -hmm. 70. Shoot. Don't, doesn't mean doesn't you're mean shoot, you need to no. shoot an animal at that yard. But practice Don't. farther than you want to shoot. Practice because... because right. Practicing is where, where you can afford that miss. Yes. 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 Correct yourself Great way and to figure say out why, yes. why you missed, and then next time you won't have that. Yes, and then if you did need, an, if you did have an opportunity to help that animal and take it down mm -hmm. with a second shot, yep. you're ready for it, mm -hmm. and you have that ready to go. <laughs> yep. Here's what's crazy. You know, years ago when I started hunting and everything, the average shot, when you and I were hunting, yeah. the average shot was 12 to, 12 to 20 yards for a white-tailed deer. Right. With food plots and everything, that distance has increased in the Midwest. It's, you it, know, it's it probably has, gone right. from 30 on in. Right. So, so when you come out west, understand that, you know, that distance can even expand even further. Yes. So if your comfort zone right now on your setup is 30 yards, here's what we're saying. Real simple. Please, please, Practice with your broadheads. I'm saying it again. With your broadhead. Practice broadheads. Pra practice. Yes, yes. Don't, pra don't practice. use your practice ones no, while no, hunting. No, no, yeah. no. But, but what I'm saying is try to double that extension. So in other words, if your comfort zone is 30, shoot up to 60. And that will be that much easier. Well, yes. your 40 won't be as mental as a stress point. Yep. Or your 50. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you know what right. I mean? Not saying we want you to shoot long distance no, on game. Not at all. No. But the further you tune your equipment in, the more confident it will be to slowly increase that y y your personal capabilities. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow, All right. That was a big ramble. That was. That was. I that have was good, two though. more rambles. Okay. I have two questions. First question, <clears throat> we're going to just completely go off the cuff here because we've been oh, talking yeah. about them a lot. Pronghorns, antelope. Oh, yes. Yeah. In Africa. Yeah. Now, I know we talked about it a little bit. There's bulls. Rams oh. and bucks. I'm sorry. I just, <laughs> Way to oh no, go. I just smacked up. I'm, I'm sorry. No, I'm <laughs> Don't touch my ring. <laughs> I know we're all confused about it, but if I'm not mistaken, Fricky said it's more so over in Africa. It's a weight between because they're all antelope over there more, in the right, family. Right. It's a weight thing between the rams, right. the ewes, so, and the bulls and the cows. But when you come back stateside, it's an antelope bucks. buck. And it's it's okay. like wait a minute. But so and, and and then you have a water buck, but it's not. Yeah. It's not a buck. Mm -hmm. So Fricky and told us and he, over in Africa, he told us, this is from the the, the professional hunter. Man of yes. <laughs> He said anything niala and smaller is yeah. considered a ram, and anything bigger than a niala is considered a bull. But I thought, isn't it? It's a well, kudu like, bull and it's an too. impala ram. Mm -hmm. It's so crazy. It's well, it's real simple. I'm just going to say there's a lot of bull right here. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right. Yes. That's but it is yeah. a, it is a pronghorn, an American pronghorn. Yep. Buck. Buck. That's what we call him. <laughs> even though... Oh, that's one to search up. In but, other words. but even with it saying that, I believe the females are ewes, aren't they? For what? Antelope, pronghorn? I call them does. Oh, they're... Okay. <laughs> There's a know. doe. There's doe antelope. Hey, let's throw red deer in here. We have stag and hinds. Should we go ahead and talk uh, about those two? Well, those are antlers. We're talking about horns. No, horns. Uh, oh. Horns. Yeah. My bad. Because so we have bucks and bulls on that side as well, but... Yep. Right. We also have bucks, bulls, and... Rams. 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 Okay. Oh, yeah. That, well, that's, that, that's something for y'all to think about. Yeah. There's there's a something for you to go search up. <laughs> yeah. And so, then to end this off. Yes. To kind of go back to a conversation we had earlier about stuffing our bags full yeah. of snacks and food. I just want to go across the line. What's your favorite snacks and your favorite drinks to bring along? Water. 
for early season like antelope, whether early season was hot still? Water or iced tea. Mm -hmm. Unsweet. Sorry. It's just what I do. Um, snack wise, gosh, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do I snack on in the antelope line? Everything. Oh. <laughs> well, gotta have a variety. I do always have gum in my backpack. I always have gum in my backpack. Gum helps that's you hike. I like I gum. gum gives you saliva, yep. and yes. I like gum when I'm hiking. Yes. Yeah. Um, wow, peanut butter and jelly. PBJs, baby. Just nothing. Saying. There's nothing better, and especially like after a day, they get squished, Ew. No, and you no, and you no. peel you them out of your Ziploc bag. Day. Oh. You need yeah. to eat it the first day, and it needs to have peanut butter and jelly all the way to the edge of the crust. Yeah, it has to be. It has to be seeping out. I'll take a pass has on the peanut butter. Oh. Okay, so so what would your? Well, no, we gotta go down the line. Oh, I just. So yours is water. Mine's my mine is water with my little like. Your little powder mixes. Powder yeah. mixes. Yeah. I, I really like them. What's your favorite flavor? Huh? What's your favorite flavor? I think peach tea peach. or something. Peach tea. Yeah, it's something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I tried one of yours like it was a Hawaiian punch pot. Wow, it was too it's, sweet. I was going to say, those yeah. ones are sweet. No, I didn't those like those. Those ones have sugar. Yeah, yeah, I didn't like that. Um, again, I, re I really like PBJs. Mm -hmm. uh, I do. I th You know, such protein and you, everything. You know what else we also have a habit of putting in our packs? Are those little cheese and peanut butter crackers. Yeah, the little cracker the little, oh, yeah. Because you can throw them in there and you can have like one if you just kind of want to snack a little bit. I mean, and then there's usually some kind of candy. And, and I'm going to tell you, I'm a, and they'll tell you, I have pet peeves. Oh. One of them is this, your water bottle is just a bottle and it's, it makes all that crackly noise. Oh, mm -hmm. I, it freaking drives me oh. nuts. And, yeah, yeah. and any kind of noisy wrapper, open it up and stick it in oh. a Ziploc. Yeah. Oh. That, you, see, you will get the pre you, will get, you will get the hairy eyeball. Yeah, you, here it is. There you go. <laughs> Okay, but, but here's like the thing. It, it takes nothing yeah, head, to open them, all that stuff up before you put it in your pack. Right. Put it in Ziplocs, mm -hmm. and it could be a lot quieter. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Uh, you it know is, what I mean? Yeah. I remember, it's hot when you go to antelope blind, so oh. if you don't have chocolate, chocolate, it will oh, more than likely. Yeah, don't. Yes. don't we had that happen no. last last fall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bring it, get get yourself a nice issues. little cooler. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> Throw a little ice pack in and keep things cool, especially in a ground blind, mm -hmm. whether it's elk at a water hole, you know, mule yeah. deer, animal. Yes, we have those little Cabela's coolers. They, oh. were, they were perfect, yeah, especially yeah, for soft, like this one like day a, blind hunt. It's like a mixture of yeah. soft sided, but. Yeah. And they yeah. keep stuff cool for the day. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Good to go. So you? Um, I'd have to say water for sure, just because yeah. it doesn't. It's make, what you do. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Although I will admit, before the hunts, I do like the liquid IVs. Yeah. To hydrate. Mm -hmm. that definitely, yep. I, the powder. I was like, the mm. yeah, I don't I like those. I, don't I just eat, chug I don't, it. Yeah, no. But then it makes me have to peel out. Oh, um, well. Also, yeah. whenever I get excited, it happens. It's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, there was there's a been lot of there's been many. Whenever I get excited, I'm like, raw. Oh yeah. Whenever I get excited, I have to pee. It was so there you go. It's TMI. out there. It's out there. Uh, Y'all know, know now. You know it's now. perfect. Yes. Yep. When, once he starts bouncing his leg and shaking, yes. yeah. you know, yes. like, do you have to pee? Oh, yeah. Pay go attention pee. on the show. When you see everything. his legs start shaking, you know that he has to go to the bathroom. Great. Now every now every time I because I go oh. I do like sweet things. I have a very strong sweet tooth. Yes. Just because I also oatmeal like cream pies. Those yeah, are I very say, good. Oatmeal cream pies but is where I But they get crushed so easily in the backpack because yes. yes. they always slide down and then it's smushed and then mm -hmm. I have to like pick it apart and it's warm. Or, and, uh, or Swiss rolls, but then they're mm -hmm. too hot and Swiss. yeah, and then like those melt apart. Yeah. Oh, like a whole. Yeah. <laughs> um, I probably have to say a sandwich with just butter, some kind of deli meat, and like Swiss cheese on it. Yep. For just like a midday snack. Yeah. I'd still keep the crust on, not like I used to. Right. I, every day I would have my mom pull the crust off when I was younger. I was spoiled. Yes, Sorry, but but we tag team that? on this one. We put. Oh, I like the crust now. I'm like somebody it, else. It, it's like an anti condiment. It's butter on our sandwiches. It's what we do. Yeah. Yeah. Not a, no, mayo, no, no, yeah. no mayo. Gotta no mayo. No mayo. No mustard. No 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 uh, butter. No. Yeah. Butter. And keep it cool. Somehow keep it cool. Yeah. Keep because it warm, and Aubrey. Warm sandwiches. Drink and food. Sweet tea. Because I hate tea. water. <laughs> I hate water, but I will drink it if I have to. We'll change that eventually. In a snack, I really like to bring those really noisy bag of chips. <laughs> I like to rip them open and crinkle the bag. And Oreos. I'm yes. squeezing. You're I'm here. like, sorry, I'm Action. opening a bag of chips. Oh, 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 oh. And this yeah, is why we don't hunt together. Because <laughs> <laughs> she would be the laying microphone. in the water oh, hole. Yes. Yes, well, you know, you know honest, honestly, something that we didn't think about, though, too, is when you were talking about that, is, like, apples. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Love an apple in my backpack. Mm -hmm. Nice, but it's better yes. to take your knife and, and cut, cut the apple. Oh, no, I would. I know. Yeah. Uh. There's been plenty of times that we have caught on camera. Aubrey going, taking the mic and going. <clears throat> <laughs> 
<laughs> the first time he ever took mic. me out was when you were going for a dough back in Illinois. <laughs> I dropped snacks on oh. the floor. Oh, yeah. I was crinkling packages, <laughs> everything. It was... And he's probably looking at you like, no, he was oh, you're just funk. I was just like, he goes, <laughs> I was just excited to have you yeah. out there. Yeah. yeah, I need to talk. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's just funny. I like to get on those nerves sometimes. Oh, sometimes. Well, yeah, sometimes. I mean, sometimes. It's fun. Sometimes. It's fun. It, it is. is. It is. You it's know, and actually, the hey, other thing everyone. I did forget was almost on every hunt in the morning when we hunt at dark to when the sunrise, you know, like when you get out and stand, is I always have a cup of coffee. Yes, oh, yes. I do. I always Even have my thermos. Even when it's hot somehow. Even when it's hot, I still, I, yeah, I have it when we go antelope hunting with um, Angie and yes. Scott and Timo. <laughs> I have my cup of coffee with me always. And always. as terrible as it is, it's another thing that we all end up doing eventually that we probably won't do for a long time is for a quick breakfast, a Pop-Tart. All right, well, I think that's going to conclude all the questions for this month. Okay. I'm sure we'll have a lot more next oh, month. Oh, yeah. We'll figure out we're all We're going to be in the middle of it next month. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, and again, <laughs> please, if, if you got other questions, we'll try to answer them. If we, if we don't know it, we're going to tell you we don't know it. And we'll Absolutely. send you to maybe somebody that we know does. Yeah. yeah. And remember, in the, about somewhere in the middle of the month, towards the end of the month, we'll post up a post asking if you guys have any questions about this coming month's topic. Yep. Sounds uh, like a plan. And if you haven't seen... The Cape Buffalo Charge, please check that out. And yes. I'll tell you, a little bragging right, check out my bear hunt up at Cree River Lodge because it's pretty awesome. It's awesome. And, it the and the proposal. Awesome. And the proposal. The proposal. Her and the reaction proposal. was priceless. Absolutely. All right, well, to end And before this... we go, we are so proud and so yes. honored to have you as our, our new daughter. Yes. Oh oh. Yes. I mean, we already kind of considered it. Anyways. Yeah, we considered now it. Now it's kind of made it more official. No, it's more it's official. Yes. It's, yeah. it's just more official. Yes. Just, you yes. know, don't drink the water down in Florida because all, no, all those kids, kids are having wow. babies. Yeah, don't, don't, don't do that. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. And yeah. if it's the beef, let's get rid of the beef. Yes. <laughs> That's what Happy <laughs> told us this morning. Yeah, he said, Happy said, so, said it's not the beef. water. It's the oh, beef it's the we beef. sent home with you. We're like, no. I said I threw it all out. You don't have to worry. I promise. Nope, nope. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, thank you guys for watching this month's The Choice Podcast. If you guys want to check us out, be sure to check out my mom and dad, Ralph and Vicky, at Ralph and Vicky. Uh, their Facebook, Instagram is at Ralph and Vicky, YouTube as well. And we've been posting up their old episodes, season one through, I think we're on mm -hmm. eight or something crazy nine, now. Nine, ten. I'm being called ten by 10. Eddie. So we're on season ten of our old episodes there. So go check all those out there on the YouTube. Aubrey and I have stuff coming up on our YouTube as well, yes. at RJ and Aubrey, as well as Facebook and Instagram. Everything, so yeah. keep your eyes open and your phone's on, I guess. Yeah, and remember yeah. to subscribe <laughs> and like. Of course. Yes. We hope you yes. guys enjoyed, and we'll be talking to you again here very soon. Keep Bye it real. Bye, guys. <laughs>